This is John with Voices Live On for Business, and I'm speaking with Beth Jackson of JacksonHealthAdvisors.com. Beth, how are you doing today? And why don't you give us a little background on uh, what you do and how you got to this point? Hi, Sean. Thank you. Yes, I am an insurance broker in the Indianapolis area and how I got to this point. So let's back up to when I went to school. I went to college at the University of Oregon where I ran track. I did get my bachelor's of science in sociology along with a business minor. I'd always wanted to go in some type of business. From there, fast forward, I moved back to Minnesota where I'm originally from. I got my first job in the health insurance industry with direct to consumer sales. So I would help individuals and families um, get information on if medical insurance was something they needed, what type of medical insurance, ancillary benefits, that type of thing. From there, I then became a carrier rep. I worked with large carriers throughout the country, and I was able to really understand how insurance works through becoming a carrier rep. I helped small businesses renew, negotiate uh, renewals. Then I became, then I moved down to Indianapolis, where I am now currently residing. Here I was able to become a new business rep with a carrier and what that allowed me to do is really get out into the community and see what a need there was for brokers in the smaller group segment, which is really what I focus on. So here I am helping small businesses and I love I love doing this because communication and building relationships in the community is super important to me. So let's talk about the fact that you've got to. uh... You got to go fight for them. You got to go find a good rate. You got to negotiate the onboarding process. Just kind of walk through those major steps and and what you do as far as onboarding and then ongoing. Yeah. So with new business, the biggest thing is really just shopping the market. There are a lot of different insurance carriers out there offering different benefits. And it can be very confusing if you're not sure what you're looking at. So I step in and I help with what different carriers are offering different types of products. From there, the decision is made. I help with enrollment of your employees. I help with enrollment of and and, and benefit education to your employees. So basically I take all of the HR stuff um, when it comes to benefits and I take that off the plate of these smaller employees and these smaller businesses. And so I pride myself in helping them with compliance. I help them each step of the way and I am an employee liaison. So if there is an issue with a benefit, instead of going to the employer, they have, you know, they're wearing a thousand hats. They can come to me as I'm the benefit specialist and I'm able to help them through any issue issue that they may have. All right. So the benefits themselves, I mean, obviously the main ones are health insurance and you've got major medical and life and vision and dental disability. You know what, why don't you kind of just go through them and, and, and we're going to end up touching on, you know, essentially different industries that you deal with and how they can really apply to them. Yeah, so major medical and health is super important. We are our biggest asset. And so in order to protect ourselves, we have to make sure that we're going to get those physicals. If something were to happen, we don't bankrupt ourselves and lose maybe everything that we've worked for. So it's really important to ensure to ensure that your employees are safe that we offer that medical insurance. But life, vision, dental, those are all very important as well. So life and vision, excuse me, vision and dental are very important because a lot of diseases can be detected through an eye exam or through an oral exam for your dental that would maybe have gone undetected and created bigger issues in the future. Life, obviously to protect those employees, to protect their families and income protection is really important, especially for business owners, because if something were to happen, you wanna ensure that everything is taken care of, not only on the personal side, but your business side as well. So that's just kind of a rundown of the importance of each benefit. All right, so let's kind of dive into some specific industries. So medical supply groups and also financial and mortgage groups. You know, what do you think are some major benefit areas that they really need to to, to have kind of, you know, at the, at the top of their mind when they're signing on and how it's really gonna help them? Yeah, so both industries are industries that help other people definitely financial services, mortgages, they're helping people protect their income. So income protection, life, super important benefits for these types of industries. Medical supply groups, same thing. They're creating, you know, life-saving devices. So having that major medical to, if in fact they need it, have that coverage to, you know, protect them is super important. Then you've got organizations that have to build uh, the, the world, essentially metal fabricators, engineers, architects, 
you know, they're, they're, some of those guys are, you know, getting their hands dirty. Other guys, they're, they're having to, you know, deal with giant organizational builds. So kind of give me a little bit of highlights on the benefits and where they would apply here. Yeah. So guys and gals in this industry, definitely the biggest thing is safety. These are higher risk jobs where accidents do happen. So accident insurance, definitely the disability. Again, I've said it before, employees are their biggest asset and they are your biggest asset as the employer. So offering that disability, offering that life insurance really helps protect and the accident coverage with the higher chance of something happening on a hands-on, more um, you know, hands-on type of job. So those are definitely important. Now with uh, you know accident coverage, individuals that are in trucking, you know, they're in fuel waste management, sewage, logistics, mm -hmm. they're on the road. There's a lot of X factors that can happen when they're out on the road, even with them physically as they're driving. So once you kind of touch on this for a minute. Yeah, definitely vision insurance, right? We want our employees in these industries to ensure that they are able to see, right? We want to make, keep them safe. We want to make sure that everyone around them is safe. And if they're driving a truck, with your name, your business name on it. We want to ensure that they truly can do that job in the safest way. The other thing is major medical. From coast to coast, they're going to have coverage if something were to happen. So again, very important for this industry, for these two types of industries. And then you've got something a little closer to the heart. You have faith and you also have education. So you deal with specialty schools uh, as well as church employees. You know, both of those industries the pay isn't as much as an engineer, you know? So that's, yeah. that's a factor probably with employee. Um, well, just, just go ahead and touch on that. Yeah, so really this is where the rate negotiation uh, experience I have comes in. Working with these types of industries, the presence of the teacher, the presence of the church employees being there is so important for the growth of the children and the community in that church or the bond that's created because the trust is built. So if you have subs coming in every other day because you have employees out that are sick, that kind of defeats the purpose of these amazing industries. So major medical, extremely important. Again, the vision, the dental, to really detect early disease that may have them out of the office or out of the classroom for longer than they may want. So that's super important, keeping that bond and building that trust with those, with those industries. All right, well, again, it's jacksonhealthadvisors.com. Uh, what would you like to say to anybody out there that runs their companies just as far as the onboarding and just anything you'd like to say to them in general? Yeah, so biggest thing from one small business owner to another, I'm here to help not only you as the employer, but I'm here to help protect your employees as well. The biggest thing that people are looking for when they're looking for a job is what are your benefits? And I want to be able to allow you to hand them an amazing package that not only meets your needs as the employer, but meets the needs of your employees as well. So I look forward to talking with anyone that has any questions or is looking to maybe change their benefits. I do free benefit reviews. So if you currently have a carrier and maybe you're not happy with them, I'm more than happy to sit down with anyone, go over their benefits and kind of explain maybe what they're missing based on their needs or their employees needs and really just walk through. And I'm happy to do that with anyone. I love helping small businesses and I think together we are better and we are stronger. So I look forward to, you know, getting out there in the community and really helping small businesses thrive. Okay. Well, Beth, I, I wish you luck on the road ahead. I know you're going to do great with a lot of these companies. You've been doing it for 18 years anyway. So yeah. now you're just going to be able to help them on a lot higher level. Uh, but anyway, I wish you luck. And again, it's jacksonhealthadvisors.com. And Beth, it's been great speaking with you today. And I commend you on your knowledge of the industry. Thank you, Sean, for the time and the platform. I appreciate you and what you do. Thank you. Yeah.